Hey guys, good morning. Uh, Prepper Nurse One here. A little tea chat time. And yes, I use honey in my tea. Love honey in my tea. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk about this whole thing. Actually, this was a suggested video, which actually makes sense. Should have thought about this myself anyway. About the whole Sony um, pulling their picture about the satire, um, about the Kim Lung Ji or whatever his name is over there in, uh, I think that's it, Kim something or other, anyway, um, over North Korea. And, uh, you know, it was a, it's a comedy, it's a joke. I mean, I'm sure other countries make fun of our president, and I mean, I'm sure that in our own country we make fun of our own president and videos. So, but it was a, the movie was supposed to be a joke, and uh, so, you know, the, the, the hackers went in and, and got all their information, and... Uh, and then uh, Sony caved to the pressure of the hackers and pulled the movie. So uh, there's a couple things I find interesting in that. Number one, it's, it sets a very bad precedent that, uh, you know, that we can be intimidated by somebody, you know, making threats cyberly, you know, that, well, we'll do this or we'll do that. The second thing that I have an issue with is uh, there must have been something really, really juicy that they were threatening to use that uh, that's why they pulled that movie because they must have had some good information and made threats to the right people for them to pull a multi-million dollar movie and you know and everything it is just I think it's it's, it's it sets a really 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 bad precedent that uh, you know we can in, be intimidated by well if you don't do this we're gonna do this type of situation and uh, you know it's just I don't know what the heck is going on with our freaking country guys I'll be honest with you it's just uh, it amazes me I mean, back in the days when Teddy Roosevelt was the President of the United States and he had a philosophy of walk softly but carry a big stick, nobody screwed with us because they knew what they were going to get, you know. And uh, we've turned into something totally different. I mean, our military's burnt out. They continue to downsize our military, making us weaker. And I understand we spend more on military than the next top five countries, I think. Something like that. It's, it's a ridiculous amount of money. But uh, our troops are burnt out. You know, we've been basically at war since my kids have been alive, and my guys are 13 years old now. And, uh, you know, because when the Twin Towers happened, it, September 11th, obviously, in 2001, I mean, my guys were born in October. So, you know, and we've been basically at war ever since. And, uh, but our guys are burnt, you know. I mean, we got uh, a lot of vets that have come back and they're, if they're physically whole, they're psychologically not whole. Um, others have come back with one arm, one leg, burns, you know, all kinds of issues. And, uh, but getting back, I'm getting off track again, and I do that, I'm sorry. But it just, we're, we're in trouble. We're in trouble in this country. But, uh. You know, with this whole Sony Pictures pulling that movie due to threats by hackers and intimidation, we can't be intimidated by anybody. That, that, that's the bottom line. I would have put that movie out there and I would have said, screw you, you know. And for once, and notice how I'm going to say once, I agree with something that the president said in his speech that, uh, you know, the president of Sony should have talked to him first before pulling that movie. Because it does, it makes us look weak. And that we, we can't we can't afford to look weak. So I just wanted to do a quick video on this. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, what you think. I, I just I, I think it's uh, just you know it amazes me how we're almost twenty trillion dollars in debt, and we're focusing in on all these other little piddly, piddly any things that are going around. And the government is using this distraction to not let us focus on what the real issues are, which continues to be, you know, the overspending of our government. The, they're not reining in the controls of it. It, it. it just, we're going further and further into debt all the time. And there's going to be a tipping point in some place where we're never going to get out of it. I think at one point, and this was several years ago, they basically said that all of our tax money from the Mississippi River east all went towards interest paying interest all the tax money that they got from 
that part of our country, from the Mississippi River all, all across the East Coast, all that money just went to pay interest. So I hate to think where it's at now. And, uh, you know, and then as we have more and more people loaded up on entitlement programs, it's just, you know, it's not going to get better. So um, I see nothing but issues happening. It's a, it's a terrible thing what's happening with this country. And, uh, you know, my, my big thing is, is just continue to prep, continue to prepare, because when it collapses, it's going to be a big boom. And I think it's going to be a sudden thing, and it's going to put a lot of people in shock. Um, I worry for my children. That's my biggest concern. I worry for my children. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, like I said, I think it sets a bad precedent what's going on with what Sony did. And it's not going to be good results from it. Okay? Um, thank you very much. Prepper Nurse went out for now.